beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed he said the Lord will not do anything but he will reveal his counsel to his servants. Praise the Lord. Then it's our responsibility to begin to search and walk in peace with the Spirit. So that we can understand the things that the Spirit is doing at every given time. There are certain revelations that we understand that have been sealed the bible says in revelations 5 that there was a call in heaven and that call was that who is worthy so there are certain revelations that is not given freely it's a contention is gotten by qualification it's a who is worthy to that one he will be able to open the book and unlock the scroll he said no man was worthy to open the book and the elder began to cry John why because in that revelation contains certain mysteries that should be opened up and the Bible makes us to understand that the elder the angel tapped him and said weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David is worthy to open the book hallelujah it's important to be in peace with what the Spirit of God is doing. And this is our desire in this place. The Bible says in the days of Samuel when the word of the Lord was cast. It didn't say men stop going to the temple. But he said the word of God was cast. Praise the Lord. So tonight let it be that you didn't just come to do church as usual. Let it be that you came because you understand that receiving from God will position you to understand what he's doing in the spirit. And by alignment, you become a benefactor and you become usable. It's not enough to be available. You must be usable. Hallelujah. And only the Holy Spirit is able to help us into this truth. And so, Lord, we thank you. Because you will bless us tonight. Lord, do not leave us behind. Let us follow up in pace with the things the Spirit is doing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. Be seated. Good to have everyone around. Hallelujah. We're subjecting ourselves to the dealings of the spirit again and again every week every week week after week month after month we're subjecting ourselves as students in the school of the spirit allowing him to teach us and to bring us into comprehension of kingdom realities hallelujah 
Because a time will come when the dividends of this sacrifice will appear unto all. And we want to position ourselves. We are not careful to admit that not everybody is open to the things of the Spirit. Especially in this day and age where there are all kinds of Christian distractions. Hallelujah. The Church of Christ has become a place where ethics of religion are taken as usual. But the presence of Christ and his body ought to be a place of freshness where we can communicate to the world what the Spirit of God is doing at every given time. Mm. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to share something that I believe will be a great journey, a great blessing to our journey in the Spirit. How many of you were blessed last week? It was a wonderful time of prayer. Hallelujah. If the things of the Spirit are still a burden to you, then there is need to retreat in the presence of God. Hallelujah. There are lots of believers who have a problem with the things of God. And I hope we do not have those kinds of people here. Let me tell you something. Um... Whenever you come for koinonia, make sure that you're not just coming to fulfill a ritual. Are you listening to me, please? Ensure that you're not just coming to watch other people or to see what are the other things. You must come with a predetermination and say, Lord, what do you have for me that can help me in this journey? We are in a journey. I'm so happy every Friday when I have the opportunity to share God's word because I understand that there is at least somebody who is interested in the things of the spirit. And if God can find such a man, he can produce a wonder out of him. Praise the Lord. First Peter 2. Say after me, God is preparing an army say it like you believe it God is preparing an army ask your neighbor are you part of this army tell your neighbor don't tell lies unto him who sits on the throne let To Jesus, the Lamb who was slain, glory and power. Glory and power forever and ever and ever you reign forever. First Peter 2 verse 9 First Peter 2 verse 9 hmm. But ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood he Never said you are members of living faith or Christ's embassy or deeper life or redeemed those are structures. You get my point? What I'm saying beyond the structures, you must look. It says, ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, 
a people of his own that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light so the bible tells us clearly here that we have been called out of darkness and given an assignment hallelujah and that assignment is to show forth the praises of him that has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light hallelujah and tonight we're going to be examining how far we've gone in this journey and obtain grace to press ahead hallelujah the children of Issachar the Bible says had an understanding of the times and as a result they knew what to do they knew how to align themselves with the things that the spirit was attempting to bring and not everyone is able to align himself to the things that the Holy Ghost is doing you know why because alignment means that you have to die to yourself hallelujah alignment means that you are bending to assume a posture that may not be convenient and so it takes a revelation bigger than yourself and your personal comforts to say lord regardless of how this will affect me i am prepared to come into alignment with your divine will to the end that your plans and purposes be achieved at every given time that as you search for men and women that you will use to do exploits that you can find a vessel in me the bible says but in a great house there are not only vessels of wood or gold and silver but of wood and of clay he says some are unto dishonor and some are unto honor he says, if a man will purge himself that man will become a vessel unto honor fit for the master's use say after me once again god is raising an army and say i am part of that army i am part of that army led by the spirit hallelujah joel chapter 2 we we'll just establish a few things and then we'll pray verse 1 blow the trumpet in Zion sound the alarm on my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the earth tremble for the day of the Lord cometh for it is near at hand a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness like the morning spread upon the mountains a great people this is the description of God's army please listen a great people and strong there has not ever been like them before you cannot trace them to any history neither shall any more be after it even to the years of many generations they are characterized by a fire that devoureth before them they are men of fire confirming that which the bible says he maketh his angels winds and his ministers flame and behind them a flame burneth and the land is like the garden of eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness yea nothing shall escape them they are thorough people the appearance of them is like the appearance of horses and like the horsemen so shall they run like the noise of chariots on the mountain tops they shall leap like the noise of the flame of fire that devoured the stubble like a like a strong people set in a battle array before their face the people shall be much pained all faces shall gather blackness the bible says they shall run like mighty men look at this description they shall climb the wall like men of war they shall march everyone on his ways and they shall not break their ranks no competition no dabbling into unnecessary things everyone maintaining focus that's what watch my knee calls the limitation of the body the capacity to allow every member to function within the jurisdiction of their grace the bible says they will not break ranks 
neither shall one trust another they shall walk everyone in his path and when they fall upon the sword can you imagine they shall not be wounded what an army they shall run to and fro in the city they shall run upon the wall and they shall climb upon the houses they shall enter in at the windows like a thief the earth shall quake before them the heavens shall tremble the sun and the moon shall be dark and the star shall withdraw her shining the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight by day the moon will no more give you light by moon. it says jehovah the christ himself he will be your everlasting light that means they will function from a different source of illumination not that which has been known are you listening to me because he made many lights but at the emergence of the two great lights there was no longer those kinds of lights it's not like they were not truth but they were no longer needed in light of the higher lights hmm. let's finish up the lord shall utter his voice before his army that means the lord himself is a commander for his camp is very great for he is strong who executed his word for the day of the lord is great and very terrible who can abide look up please there is there is a campaign of the spirit the holy ghost is running to and fro across the length and breadth of this nation the nation of africa and across the world searching for men and women who will avail themselves to be used hallelujah every time before a kairos moment in the earth god begins to prepare a people and the first thing he does is to begin to beckon on them so that they willingly offer themselves and say we are available are you listening to me we are available and then he separates those people and begins to subject them to the trainings that will equip them for his agenda now the very difficult thing is this separation is a very difficult thing because it entails you breaking away from status quo breaking away from what has been received as the norm and so your mind will fight it everything around you will fight it and the pressure that standing alone will bring to you will ask you whether it is worth it to stand that's why the bible says haven't done all to stand stand hallelujah and all over the body of christ there has been a sudden awakening pastors apostles preachers evangelists as many who are careful enough to listen to the promptings and the dealings of the spirit they are beginning to blow this alarm in zion and to sound it upon his holy mountain that there are a people that god is preparing is raising is training is building and that the fashion of this training is not one that will be traced to the dealings of god in the past here and there we could take extracts from the dealings of God with Abraham, Jacob, Isaac. But that there is a unique operation of the spirit that is bringing on this caliber of people. That will necessitate staying with the Holy Ghost part time. You will not miss the Holy Ghost and go back to history and expect to catch up. Because the dealings are foreign to the things that he has done before. And so God will entail that these people will subject themselves to the total leadership of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. This is why coming under the Lordship of the Spirit is only the beginning of the journey, not the end. Coming under the Lordship means that you are bringing yourself under subjection to say, Lord, you are looking for an army and you are training and preparing men and I may not have all that it takes right now, but I have a willing heart. I watched Catherine Kuhlman yesterday and I cried. I wept like a baby when I watched this dear woman of God standing in power, an epitome of yieldedness to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And while she stood on the stage, 
ministering the word of God, you could see the oneness, the similitude. You could see how, how intertwined, how mingled this woman had been with the Holy Ghost. That her utterances were so piercing not because of the volume of her voice but the depth and the realm from which she was fetching these things from a woman and she made an interesting statement she said Catherine Kuman died a long time ago she said I remember the date and the time I died she entered a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. He has now become my new life. And my movement is according to the impulse of the spirit. And that is going to be the characteristic of the spiritual man. Speaking to Nicodemus, Jesus said, The wind bloweth where it listeth. You will not be able to predict this generation of people. Because they have subjected themselves under the total influence of the spirit that's where we get the word baptism it's from the greek word baptizo it means to be totally immersed in a flood such that you do not see the person again you only see the object that immersed him and so we come under the influence of the holy spirit now a lot of believers have trivialized the ministry of the holy spirit but without the Holy Spirit, there is no hope. The Holy Spirit is the guarantee. Listen to me. He is the guarantee that we can become that army to the expectation of God. Because he's the one who guides us and builds us. And brothers and sisters, hear me. This has been our journey all through Koinonia. It is not a move to make a name. It's an attempt to cooperate with the Spirit and partner with Him in bringing a convergence of as many who are interested in becoming part of this move of God. Who will indicate willingness to subject themselves to the dealings of the Spirit over time. We don't tell you lies here. We don't hype you with, with all kinds of nonsense. The Word of God comes in truth and power. And I've said it again, it will cost you to align with the Spirit. The Bible says there is no man that warreth who will entangle himself with the activities of civilians. And so when you come, there will be a demand upon you to lay aside your ambition and pick up that of the King. But then as surely as the Lord lives, there will be a reward for that sacrifice. He said, meditate on these things. Give yourself wholly to them that your profiting will appear unto you. So I'm aware that there are different kinds of people and different kinds of soils. And so I want us to start tonight by reminding ourselves that every time we appear before God in Zion, we came for business. Hallelujah. We didn't just come to um, enjoy the atmosphere or to while away two or three hours. No. We came based on the revelation listen i must get you to understand this if you do not you will not be able to benefit maximally are you following me now you must come with a predetermination that i am coming to continue the training it is not an endless training there is a day the sound of the trumpet will blow and at such times you will appreciate the meticulous dealings of the spirit touching issues after issues aspects after aspects flogging out a lot of things pruning different things the bible says narrow is the path that leads to life why because when you are entering that path jesus gave us a similitude of that revelation using the eye of the needle it will it will entail you divorcing yourself with a lot of things and going alone so the path is narrow. In other words, the things that can pass have been predetermined. You will not come with excess luggages and mindsets. But wide is the way that leads to destruction. And Jesus said, because the rich people have a lot of things, he said they may not be able to pass. 
are you following me and so you come with your ambitions and different things and then some of us may come just to use Jesus Christ as an errand boy as usual because that's the move that has been taught in the body of Christ and so we have a need driven congregation who only come to God as a means to an end and that end is to satisfy their belly and to bring themselves in a position where they are comforted rulers in the feast while the Lord of the harvest is in the congregation he's not honored and he's not esteemed but the Bible tells us in heaven that there will be a supper and in that supper the one who should be the head will actually be the head are you following me tonight and so the first challenge that the Holy Ghost places before us tonight is to ask you how serious are you how much are you convicted what is your passion about the things of God and about this army that God is mobilizing what is your concept of Christianity and church and religion why do you pursue God he said why do you call me Lord and then I notice that there is only a receiving from you there is no doing you call me Lord because you came and understood by knowledge that there is a dimension of me that is able to supply your needs you call me Lord because you understand that there is a dimension that is able to protect you and give you a wife and give you a husband but this kind of army are not the ones who are going to tie God to a covenant they are going to say Lord blessing or no blessing they are the type who were sent to the vineyard without negotiation they did not negotiate when he called the people in the morning they said we will only work if you will pay us a denary he said you mean if I don't pay you you won't work he said no pay no work and he said all right you have tied a covenant with me go later he found some people sitting and he said do you love me enough to work in my vineyard they said yes no arrangement and they entered the vineyard at the end of the day even those who came willingly but at the 11th hour got the same reward with those who gave God conditions and they were angry and he said am I not the Lord of the harvest what did I do that was wrong that Christianity that gives God conditions before your allegiance must be destroyed is witchcraft coming from the pit of hell are you listening to me Job said though he slay me yet will I praise him men and women who love God with their life, with their soul, with their all. Your passion is not motivated by any loss that you have hidden. Waiting to be manifested. And you say, Lord, I love you and I believe your word. But I am more passionate than any other thing. I'm not just pursuing you. Listen. It's time the church body begins to define what is motivating their pursuit to God. Are you listening to me? Because that is what will determine how far we will continue in this journey. If you are pursuing God for money or fame or husband or wife, that means the day you get married, you have no need to pursue again. Are you listening to me? And so our desire for, for God must come from an eternal plane that nothing in time will be able to quench that hunger. This becomes the platform on which authentic Christianity will spring from. To say, Lord, I love you and I'm committed. Whatever your agenda is, I am interested. I get troubled in my spirit seeing how many believers openly do not care about the agenda of God. The average church in Nigeria is only interested in fulfilling programs and holding conferences and conventions and we name all kinds of things. And we are happy. We are meticulous in planning. The ego of the, the man of God or the organizer is at stake. And every kind of artistry and accuracy comes into it. But the one whose agenda we should pursue is left. And the rulers are contending to be lords in the feast. Are you listening to me? And so spiritual growth is not just an act of knowing scripture is first coming to a point where you realize that you have no life of your own listen to me that's not the end that's the beginning
This is the reason why a spiritual man is, he watch so much in the presence of God. Because of all of these sacrifices that you have to subject yourself to. Thank you, Jesus. And tonight, what is your motivation? Why are you pursuing God? Why are you running after the things of God? Is it with a passion that will expire when certain things come into your life? Or is a genuine passion. You say, Lord, I thank you because you will give me a wife and a husband and a car and all of this. But I need you to know that I mean business with you. Are you just pursuing God because you are a student? And then you need him so that you can use him as a ladder towards academic success. And the day you cry and you graduate, you just wave him and say, Lord, there are many others who didn't backslide like me. So you can concentrate on them. lovest thou me more than this this was a question that he asked peter because you know listen let me tell you something peter is, a, is an interesting figure when jesus was going to clean the feet of the disciples peter said ah i respect you so much i mean come on how can you clean my feet jesus said you do not even know what i'm doing and peter said now just bath me now i understand and he was the one who ran away and betrayed jesus to the point that he called a little girl woman because he was trying to defend himself hallelujah and when the hidden agenda that was in their heart see eventually over time the agenda in their heart for pursuing jesus began to unravel when the mother of james and john came to meet jesus on behalf of her two sons meaning they were already nursing it that jesus will conquer caesar and now become the king of the roman empire and then at that point the disciples will become members of the cabinet so while they were pursuing him they were already setting their campaign strategies on ground and they used their mother and the mother will say you know i'm a woman what will you do to my children because i got disturbed at the speed with which they left fishing and started following jesus they didn't think about it jesus was a celebrity come and they say of course i've always wanted and then later on when they found out that this journey was getting too long they started asking questions first among themselves this is why you see a preacher 10 years diligence in, in god and then after a while he just says lord at least heaven knows i've tried because the motif that was behind the establishment of that ministry is beginning to be revealed hallelujah are you following me tonight the light of god is searching our hearts to help us this is how we grow in the spirit and then at a particular time they wanted to motivate themselves in the absence of jesus because they did not understand what governmental authority is they did not understand that you only receive results when you are sent Jesus went with Peter, James, and John and the remaining disciples gathered themselves around and they could not stand the ego and the embarrassment that the crowd around them, they said, look, why wait for Jesus? Can't we take initiatives on our own? And they brought somebody who was epileptic and they did not understand the order and the trainings in the spirit and how things are done. They began to assume the position so that in the absence of Jesus, they might receive a temporary glory and console their loss before his arrival and they were disappointed because they saw jesus do it with ease and they thought it would happen that same way here and there in the bible you will see men who pursued jesus christ for different reasons people who wanted to buy anointing so the the the, the issue of buying anointing did not start from our generation when they saw that by the laying on of hands men were receiving the holy ghost how much let me give you and the church of christ has turned into a place of gullible men and women of god selling what they perceive to be the anointing and we have a church that will not grow because the price for growth is unbearable and so we rather prefer to in, to to mediate and use the prophetic and the apostolic and whatever can stand to give us a momentary Suko. So, 
So if I need to find out whether it's the will of God for the job or not, I know that if I'm to follow the regular part of the spirit, I may need to wait upon the Lord in praying and fasting for three days. And I say, why waste my time? When there is a donkey called a prophet and an apostle that we can ride gloriously on. And so we have a result-oriented church. Man of God, tell me what will become of my life. And we do not know him. And we are not even interested in the agenda of God. And let me tell you, friends, if God does not raise carpenters to judge the manifestation of these horns that rise up against Judah, I tell you, there will be casualty in our generation. A time will come when the new age will wipe Christianity if we do not stand. And this is why God is creating platforms like this across the nations, the remnants, who will stand and say, no, this is not the pattern of the spirit. Are you listening to me? It cannot be church as usual. The average Christian is taught know nothing about Jesus. Do you know, I asked somebody one day, I said, who is Jesus? Born again, spirit filled. I said, who is Jesus? And he was shocked to find out that he did not even know what to tell me about Jesus. He just said he's the savior of the world. Let me ask you, who is Jesus? No, no, no. Don't give me a, a guesswork or what you got from your Bible. Who is Jesus? Do you know him? If you don't stop telling lies on stage that he's your friend. Because the way we talk about him is as though we drank tea with him. But then you ask him, who is Jesus? Who is the Holy Ghost? Amazing that the church does not even know the Holy Ghost. Scholars know more about the Holy Ghost than the church. They have researched as critics and come up with facts that the church is not even aware. We are not interested. The message about Jesus and the Holy Ghost and the kingdom and the life of God, the priority and the agenda of the Father that should be the pivot of the operation of every church is absent. And we have replaced it with all kinds of activities making money, promoting people. And you see people trying to be zealous in church and all they are looking for is the name deacon or pastor. And that becomes our ultimate satisfaction. There needs to be a redefinition of what has been motivating us in our pursuit for God. No wonder at every challenge many believers stand and give up. But the Bible says if your strength fails you in the day of battle, that means you did not gather strength. Hallelujah. If I were the pastor of many churches, after this service, they will, they will have a board meeting about me. I say, we don't like this kind of thing. You don't come and spoil our minds. Read about Jesus Christ. Elijah was called the troublemaker in Israel. And right now you have believers who come into a building and say, why didn't they put AC? God, I'm sweating and I'm getting inconvenienced. But students can stand to collect scholarship in front of guidance and counseling. In the hot sun, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. You are determined to get it. No matter what happens, you stand on that line. You maintain your position. They want to push you. You say, I'm not going anywhere. They say, you're a lady. You say, I know. I will show you I'm a lady of Jesus. We, 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 so we have that spirit of determination. But when it comes to the things of the spirit, you hold a service after one hour, 30 minutes, everybody's looking at their watch. And it's not like they have what, something to do afterwards. Because immediately after the meeting, you see them greeting one another for hours. So why the hurry? What is motivating us? What drives our pursuit for God? Are we passionate? When Jesus came, he said, listen, this is my meat. In other words, I derive satisfaction in this. To do the will of the Father. He said, I must walk the, him, the works of him that sent me while it is day. He placed urgency on his assignment for the night coming. When no man can walk again. 
Is there an urgency in your spirit to pursue God? Hallelujah. And then the second group of people in church that we have are those who have pressed onto God to a measure and then got to that measure and based on what we want to call movements, holiness movement, word of faith movement, charismatic movement, the moment you contend to the point that you enter the, the revelations of a movement, you are satisfied. And there is no pressure upon our spirits to contend for greater height. Not realizing that there are certain scrolls that have been closed. That if we will contend, it will be open unto us. And we will open up new revelations about God. And be a blessing to the body. And so I ask you a question tonight under God. Are you really interested in the agenda of the Father? What are you really? Define what motivates you. Heaven. Wife. Money. CGPA. A job. At what point will you rest and say, Kai, I've tried in this Christian journey. You must define it right now. I will go. I will go. Wherever you lead me. Yeah. I will go. I will go. I will go wherever you lead me. I will go. Can that be the anthem of your life? That when people ask you and say, What is your plan and goal in life? You will first tell them that all that I'm about to tell you is a derivative of what God has committed unto me. I did not sit down and cook up any ambition for myself because I am bound by an oath to my Savior that I will stand and live for Him. I have brought myself willingly under the government and the sovereign rule of the King and I will not compromise. Before I continue, we are going to pray for five minutes. And that prayer, listen to me, please. Don't bow your head. We are not bowing heads here. We are going to pray audibly. Hallelujah. And the prayer is going to say, Lord, I lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. You will hear us preach this again and again. I will bow to you, to no other. We are going to repent before we continue in this service. The first repentance is to say, Lord, I'm ashamed to find out that there has been a hidden loss that has been motivating my pursuit for you. But tonight I repent. Are you listening to me? You're going to pray. Because you know I'm not lying. I pray this to God every time. I say, Lord, if there is any other reason aside from my love for you, why I pursue you, judge it, prune it, and bring me to a point where I become a dead man without you. Is that your prayer? We're going to pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Say, Lord, I lay down idols. I cannot deny that I have needs. But Lord, I have led these needs to motivate my love for you. Come on, pray. 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 Lord, hidden in me is the ability to want fame. I cannot deny it. And while it is not bad, I have allowed it to motivate my pursuit. Lord, I've been crying for spiritual gifts because I don't want to. I've suffered inferiority complex. And so I'm looking for what will ease it away. 
and unfortunately I allowed it to slip and become my motivation for you lift your voice and pray pray say Lord I came here with a need but Lord in the light of your word if I will be honest with myself I'm just pursuing you the hunger increased simply because I needed a solution not because I loved you not because I was passionate about your agenda make sure you are praying make sure you are praying make sure you are praying I have made you too small in my eyes we are still praying oh Lord forgive me and I have believed in a lie that you are unable to help me but tonight in koinonia but now oh lord i see my wrong heal my heart and show yourself strong and in my heart and with my soul oh lord Come on, magnify him above your needs. Oh Lord, be magnified. Be magnified. Be magnified. Oh Lord, you are highly exalted, and there is nothing. for God will tell in your desire for evangelism your passion for God will tell in how much you give to the house of God your desire will tell how much you pray for the house of God your desire will tell and how much you love the word of God how much you love his spirit we are still praying five minutes say Lord search my heart I'm not pretending tonight I cannot lie there are idols in my heart I'm a Christian I'm born again I'm filled with the Holy Ghost but Lord if you do not give me certain things after some time I may begin to reconsider my passion help me tonight I came to Koinonia for my passion to be renewed help me 
I want to grow. Help me. Lord, I'm sorry. I've taken your pursuit and replaced it with many things. Say, Lord, I didn't even know when certain desires overtook a genuine passion. I was so distracted by the burdens upon me that I did not realize that I had missed out on a genuine passion. Genuine passion. Not tied to marriage. Not tied to money. Not tied to fame not tied to ministry, not tied to anointing. I have been crucified with Christ. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ. Christ. Christ in me. Christ above me, Christ before me, Christ by my side, my motivation, the beginning, the end. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. God is re examining the foundation from which our pursuit for Christ is hinged on because the Bible says if the foundation it says if the foundation be destroyed are you listening to me? we are still praying I have not finished the teaching but I just sense in my spirit to sing one more song it's all about you it's all about you if you don't believe it, don't sing it yet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. When you get the revelation, you can join. But for as many who mean it, it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Jesus. Hey. It's all about you. 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 For the last time now. It's all about you. about you Lord all about you Jesus you will realize what listen listen from this light of God you will realize why you are not proud of standing for Jesus in the presence of your friends 
is because you are not yet convinced that's why you cannot share Jesus with others you are afraid of the embarrassment you are conscious of your beauty that's an idol you are conscious of it lest it will kill an opportunity to be in a relationship you cannot share Christ with your business partner with your lecturer we have replaced him with different things in our hearts so every time Satan comes he comes projecting your loss first and foremost so that you cannot resist Lord help us tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you are here. Please be seated and let's continue. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us to understand that before the day of the Lord, listen to me, the spirit of Elijah Malachi 4 before the spirit before the day of the Lord the spirit of Elijah will be sent forth to prepare the way and so before Jesus came the spirit of Elijah was sent forth and he began to prepare the way how was he preparing the way calling the people to realize how bad they had fallen not because he could redeem them baptism at that time was not a sign of new birth it was an indication that they would be interested in what jesus was coming to offer so as many who were convicted by his teaching prepared their hearts so that when the messiah showed up they would not resist him for john himself did not have any power to save any man but he said i am the voice of one crying in the wilderness he was an echo and right now that same spirit of Elijah has been released upon the body of Christ to expose the works of iniquity and to bring the sons of God into righteousness and this is what is happening across every church and every denomination that truly names the name of Christ is a manifestation of this prophetic spirit that is able to receive of the things of God and communicate it fearlessly This is how your Christianity will last. So that 30 years from now, you will raise your children in the fear of the Lord. They will know no other doctrine and no other gospel. By default, they will, they will be built knowing that they love God and they have a passion for Him and Him alone. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. When the Holy Ghost brings you to this position the next thing that happens is he begins to subject you through different dealings and trainings please listen this is important this is the principle the way God prepares his army and the way hallelujah now please look up one is not a tragedy but if we don't do anything about it it will become an old wine hallelujah there was a time in the body of Christ when our pursuit was for Rema praise God please listen to me Rema and the quality of your ministry was proportional to the depth of Rema insight into scripture hallelujah how you could compare scripture with scripture how you could quote whole chapters hallelujah nothing wrong in that we gave awards to people for quoting chapters and chapters of scripture but i needed to know that in the progression of the dealings of god listen the holy ghost begins by exposing you to the knowledge of god are you listening to me he brings you to that point where you begin to know about god through the scripture you begin to browse through scripture and see the character of God and see his life and his nature and his principles but can I tell you something 
and this is where a lot of the church body need to upgrade their life and anytime I say this people get offended I don't castigate ministers but I am the voice that must echo the things that I hear in the spirit are you listening to me I don't have a problem with any church in fact there is no channel I don't watch but listen to me let me tell you something when you say I'm born again I'm a new creation in Christ hallelujah that settles it I need you to know listen to me that it's not the fault of those who have brought this revelation and it's not a lie but that is not all there is are you listening to me it's not a lie because scripture cannot be broken however if that is the only perspective that is seen in the body then there is no completion are you following me now and so there was a an error and a dispensation where our fathers contended and pressed in the spirit and they came into that dimension where they began to understand that wow from scripture i'm free from condemnation are you listening to me i'm free but the bible says knowledge shall increase meaning it was not supposed to stop with that discovery are you listening to me that is a sign of a healthy christian that there is progression into the depths of the spirit the bible says we see in part and according to that part we prophesy so when god enlarges that which you see you begin to prophesy but many people have camped around certain revelations and will fight anything that looks above it calling it error are you listening to me there are many people who have been taught in church that there's nothing like demons nothing like satan the only demon you have is in your mind but that's not true well for those who grew up under cnn but for those who my father's mother was a traditionalist are you listening to me so i'm not trying to guess that satan exists it's one thing to believe he exists it's another thing to believe he has power over you that is where it's faulty are you listening to me but for you to just kick away and say forget it there's no demon anywhere ha ah, be careful because many of the people who are speaking will later on find out the reason why they are stunted in their life and will not make advancement a number of them have discovered it but their arrogance will not allow them to admit that they have seen a greater light and so they would rather prefer to come in what they believe to be the final revelation of the dimension of God that is given to man when you read a lot of Kenneth Hagin's books there are many things written in that book that you might not totally agree with right now is that correct that was because during Kenneth Hagin's time the level and the operation of the spirit and the truths that were opened there was what he received and documented so you cannot criticize him but at the same time in as much as we call him a general we cannot stop at that level are you listening to me so I cannot build a camp around Kenneth Hagin and say all that he taught, the thing that was moving the church was physical manifestation, gold dust, silver dust. Everybody will bring every kind of thing. Your watch, the, the silver on your watch will scratch on your hand and say, see, gold dust. And it was not wrong. Listen to me. But the Holy Ghost was studying the way we were responding to it. The moment it would become an idol, he sees that experience so that we will continue with the next dealings of the Spirit. But where you encamp around gold dust and you find your ministry around gold dust and oil and so on and so forth then there will be trouble because you will resist those who are progressing in the spirit and you will try to create many teachings to prove that they are in error not knowing that you are the one who is taunted and even when the holy ghost is ministering to you a time will come the light will be too bright you cannot explain and so you begin to get angry because the people are not stupid the bible says it will happen to us as it happened in nephtha and zebulun he said the people in nephtha and zebulun there was a prophecy he says those who are in darkness they have seen a great light not a light a great light So it will happen a great light one characteristic of a healthy church is the ability to transit with the spirit 
But when the man of God takes the place of God and makes himself the final authority in the church, he is unable to adjust because his ego will not be able to accommodate the explanations he has to give for his transition in the spirit. Transition in the spirit is not, is not a thing of embarrassment. Hallelujah. There are ministers who stop their members from reading some books because of insecurity. They want to keep the members around what they believe is the full and universal counsel of God. And I hear a lot of ministers teach with such arrogance and they do not know that there are other dimensions that are being opened up. There are many who did not stop in yesterday's wine. They kept contending and God is opening greater doors. And those doors, just like in 2005, when the revival came to the campus about the ministry of the Holy Spirit and what we know today to be new creation realities. It happened in 2005. And that was the time when we were coming into this knowledge. We didn't even know these things. We were coming into this knowledge. The revelation of Kenyon's teachings. The revelation of Pastor Chris's teachings. I mean, I was so blessed. I'll never forget how many times we lock ourselves. Boy, we're stepping into things in the anointing. Those times, if someone fell on the floor, you will run and catch the person and take him to sick bay because you are not sure what happened but right now even in your prayer group three people even unbelievers now have acclimatized to the fact that there is a manifestation of the spirit and people can fall but we cannot stop there mm. and so what is there what else is there to look because the mistake that many of us are making in our churches and the rest is we are encamping around an experience and will not move as see a man of god is not the one who is supposed to look at the people he's supposed to set his eyes on the cloud the moment the cloud begins to motion movement he alerts the people and said the cloud is moving begin to follow and move are you listening to me because at that time we are taught that if there is no instant manifestation in your life something was wrong with your faith and so while the holy ghost was trying to deal with us and taking us through processes that will bring us into maturity those teachings were were wrestling his ministry in our lives but as an act of god's grace we're able to switch and to align and to realize that in hebrews 11 there were women who raised their dead back and women, those times we could not explain what happens if a family dies. Hallelujah. We don't know what message to tell them. Because we have been taught you are supposed to stand. And live forever. And any death is a sign of weakness and Satan and so on and so forth. But that was good to a measure. But it is not applicable today. There must need to be a growth. And so we read from scripture by the Holy Ghost. How that some people died. Are you listening to me? without receiving the promise and he said other people raised their dead back to life he joined all the experiences and called it faith so we began to question the things that we had been believing not to scorn the people but to say look where they put full stop is supposed to be a comma there are many of you there are experiences god is giving you you have not found the confirmation yet i hope we have time wherever we can stop today and every time you go to your pastor they tell you no this kind of thing we, we don't like it you see that it is a new operation it's the manifestation of the new wine it must be discerned in an atmosphere where people have ears and they can tell you although this is strange we confirm by the spirit that this is an operation of the lord fire on many of you have stunted your spiritual growth because of different messages you have heard for instance i know people who say just pray for five minutes and pray for ten minutes. You are a king. Speak it once. <laughs> Brother, let me tell you the truth. If that is how you want to raise your Christianity, there will be a bitter casualty that will teach you a lesson that may take decades for you to recover from. Because the Bible gives us the character of a man of prayer. He said Elijah was a man of like passion. He said he prayed earnestly. Are you listening to me so there is nothing wrong in receiving the teachings that you have 
but I'm only saying we salute the generals I respect every man of God I mention them by name they have been impacts to our lives until today we still listen to them forever they remain generals they have entered the hallmark of grace however there is a fresh mandate upon our generation are you listening to me and according to the measure of grace that is coming upon us we cannot use the new discoveries we are having to mock them for that will be immaturity but at the same time we will not refuse to progress because we want to pay our homage and allegiance to their doctrines are you growing tonight because if i don't balance this many of you will now stand and watch some of our fathers and hear their revelation like I see a lot of people do and they just laugh they say I've left this realm when you find yourself doing that you are a child it's not demon possession the remedy is just to grow up are you listening to me I have tapes and tapes I follow the men of God ardently because listen although Eli's eye was dim it was Eli who told Samuel that it was the voice of God Eli was a type of our fathers although their eyes are getting dim not because they are backsliding but their dispensation and the blueprint of their prophetic agenda is coming to an end so there is a mantle transferring the spirit although they may to some of you not look relevant we approach them with discretion one leg we are approaching the spirit and saying Holy Ghost we are trusting you and then we are receiving direction you see the balance so you don't begin to use your revelation and say ah this ministry they just teach on this and that and that no we appreciate them and we salute them forever they are called generals compared to them we are only but toddlers rising up in the spirit however he told jeremiah do not be afraid of the people and say i am young for i will put my words in your mouth he said go and speak so there is an emergence of people we will be persecuted because of our age and because we are not conforming to the mold of religion how be it there is a new wine and the one who sent us will stand to defend us this is why you will see a lot of young people doing supernatural things for god but then if we are careful and we are trained enough we will realize that in the midst of all of these things we ought to give god glory hallelujah so tell your neighbor change your full stop to a comma say it one more time change your full stop to a comma do not reject the operations of the spirit open up yourself please don't be caught up in that thing my church my pastor this is what we believe God is leading you to a book in the bookstore. It may be by an author you don't like. There's nobody I don't watch. Let your mind grow while nobody. If I cannot learn anything, at least I can learn diligence in ministry. So you must maintain a posture. Are you listening to me? So the dealings of the spirit when the holy ghost begins to walk and shed off a lot of religion from our lives follow me to romans please let's see how far we can get and then we'll pray blessed be the name of the lord can we pray in tongues for two minutes just seated go ahead and pray in tongues get used to it the bible says these signs will follow them that means when the authentic church arises by grace this will be part of the signs like I said there are many of you who probably may be here and have a problem with what we are doing don't reject it just open up your heart and seek understanding we are loving enough to explain Rabba kata praste pata kete bele de bos. Rabba soto pondo koproske pa. Akria kate bala de bos. Shapronza. Rabba te kete. 
Lord let me grow Lord let me grow Lord let me grow in the name of Jesus I refuse to lag behind hallelujah the first thing that happens to you hallelujah the work of a believer is that by acknowledging that Jesus is Savior over your life and His Lordship the Bible makes us to understand that the Spirit of God comes to live in you hallelujah the Bible says he that is joined to Christ is what one spirit so there is a oneness that happens from the realm of your spirit what is the result faith is imparted in you and suddenly you begin to gain meaning over spiritual things the things you would have rejected because the spirit of God lives in you he begins to direct you now watch this you will read in your Bible as you progress in this journey now you are born again and then you begin to read in your Bible let the weak say I am strong let the poor say I am rich wonderful then you find another one you have been anointed to heal the sick to cast out devils wonderful you keep noting the scripture hallelujah by the time you have 30 or 40 beautiful scriptures now you will, uh, you will rise up based on the confidence of those scriptures. God will not fail. Hallelujah. Then your first attempt on a man on a wheelchair, he doesn't stand. And then a question begins to brew in your heart. What happened? Hallelujah. And then you saw that you are the head and not the tail. Then your result came out and you saw a carryover. And you said, well, uh, Uh, God is just something is there. you just leave the question mark there and then some of us go to our men of God and say please what meaneth these things I'm not getting it the things I see in scripture and the manifestation in my life is creating a contrast and most of us men of God all we tell God's innocent people because that is the limitation of the perspective that we see you don't have faith it's not enough stir up your faith if his faith is you walk now the people stay. How do I stay? And they get books. And they keep reading. They read different kinds of books. Volumes of books. To the point that they can recite the books. And then they don't see a noticeable improvement in their life. And they come back. And then we are unable to give them answers. Listen to me. The journey of a believer. The moment you give your heart to the Lord. Listen. You begin to progress from knowing God to entering into an experiential work with him are you listening to me and the experience of God with a man cannot be taught it is unique it is a unique dealing are you listening to me now through those experience your convictions about the things you see in the world begin to crystallize and gain substance are you listening to me the first area of argument is your mind the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 5. Let's look at it quickly. Romans 8. From verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do what? They do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. He said for to be carnally minded. That means to be ruled by your senses. To be ruled by your emotions. To be ruled by the things you see, the things you hear. And all of these things. The Bible says to be ruled by them. Any other thing other than Christ is death. In other words, it is an effort in futility. Hallelujah. And so your mind begins to wrestle the things of God. Because when God steps into your life, listen, He's not seeking a space. He's seeking the whole. He's not seeking a part of you. And say, okay, other things. Uh-uh. The moment he stands there, he begins to wrestle and push every other thing. Hallelujah. And that's where the willing submission of a believer begins.
begins listen to me you can choose where to stop in your spiritual journey by saying lord i've tried and i've come thus far this one will not go god will begin to touch them one are you ready to listen to me so you love god so much and then one day god will say empty your account you say Abba god i bind i reject that demon he has taught something he's bringing your finances into obedience with christ then he touches your your uncle who sent you money all the time say lord my faith is working now he doesn't send you money and what happens eh, my faith is still working after two months <laughs> you really find out that the one you've been trusting was not god hallelujah and then he keeps touching those things until he comes to a point where he is exalted king i like a song that says he's exalted the king is exalted on high you know that song he's exalted the king is exalted on high powerful song So the Holy Ghost begins to wrestle your flesh. What happens? You are born again. And although you are shouting, but the issue of women, you have not, you have not surrendered that part. So there is half Babylon, half. You are, you are filled with the Holy Ghost. And you are preaching. Hallelujah. But then you sit down and start remembering those days when you are in the, you are in the world. And every lady that passes around you, if any guy stands, you say, you are covering my view, please. There is a contention. This is what the Bible is telling us. Are you following me now? Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16. It now begins to tell us, it said, now I say then walk in the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. He said, for the flesh lusted after the spirit and the spirit after the flesh and both of them are consistently under contention. And then although you are born again, you find out that you are still involved in masturbation and certain things. You may not tell people, but this has contentions. You are praying about it. I'm showing you the progression. Then you begin to see every kind of thing. When you are praying before God and you are praying in tongues, you begin to see God brings out the state of your heart. Envy, lust, jealousy. You say, Lord, me? Me? I'm a new creation. I'm born again. But then you are seeing your old man. Cain is alive and strong. Wrestling with Abel. And because Cain is the elder brother of Abel. That flesh, it had gained dominance in your mind. Now Abel wants to come and take his place. And so there is a contention. Are you listening to me? The old man does not want to give way. The old man does not want to give way. And then Satan gives you an alternative. He said, look, there is something called the grace of God and God's mercy. Why don't you wrap yourself around that revelation and let everything go? And so you are laughing. You are saying, hallelujah. All things are working well. But you sleep in the night and people come and press you and sleep with you. You get up in the morning and it's not a problem. You will never tell anybody. You're just smiling. But these are questions you are asking. And say, what is wrong with my new creation status? And God is saying, no, it's a journey. Your mind is giving room for Satan to find expression in your life. And you are unable to lay down everything. Are you listening to me? You love God. It does not mean you are a devil. Don't let anybody condemn you but you must not condone your state you must do something about it hallelujah you never believed you could steal one day in the heat of hunger you just saw hundred naira wanting to take it the holy ghost told you it's your roommate's own you can't say you didn't hear him and he said lord the flesh contending with the spirit and he said, does it really matter? Lord, if I ask her, she will give me. So what's the difference? God is saying, ask them. 
because there is a protocol in the spirit and you just whistle and squeeze out and carry the hundred naira. You buy bonds and you eat. And God keeps quiet. It does not mean he's endorsing you. He's only encouraging you. Because a time will come his light will shine in that area of your life. While men slept. The enemy planted tears among the wheat. And the people who were with the husband man said should we begin to walk? He said no. In the process of pruning it you will remove some things. So let them grow. There is a level you get to then God will say all right about this issue of masturbation it's been two years and uh, although you have been healing the sick like can we deal with it now said oh I'm a new creation what kind of embarrassment is this oh Lord don't bring up this issue and Satan begins to give you an excuse we have a church that is so dignified and we cannot open up ourselves before God because we think it's an act of weakness can I tell you something, friends? If you must grow and be truth, if, if, if you must grow and be mature and stand in truth, then you must open up your heart and let the Holy Spirit examine your mind and prune out everything that does not conform to Christ. Hallelujah. While that is happening, you will seem to be standing in one place in your journey. Other people have started ministry since they are going they are already on air you are there cleaning out a lot of things are you listening to me because God is saying the kind of army I need to present and your colleague who you started laboring in the spirit together has seven branches now and the guy looks at you and says are you there's an urgency in the spirit let's run the harvest is wide and he says are you prepared the guy says are you joking meanwhile his choir ladies cannot rest again because the realm of the spirit does not know whether you are apostle or prophet and so in the middle of the teachings what happens Cain you look at a beautiful lady patience how and then you are preaching and then Cain says this side again and you look and you say I have a prophetic word for you now it's not your fault you love the Lord but you did not stay sufficient for the Holy Ghost to begin to take over your mind so although you are prophesying suddenly you are a prophet and you notice that Sam is the general manager of a bank and by prophetic insight you are giving access to his account number say Sam stand up while you say stand up the message that is coming from God is that you work steadfastly but you add command to where God stops and Cain rides out with the prophecy. He said, more so, God is telling you to drop an amount. And because of the accuracy of your delivery, you are consoled and you think it is God. Are you listening to me? And so based on it, you open a ministry, but then you find out that there are many things. Although before people you are great, in the spirit you weigh very small because you have refused to stay in the spirit and then your members begin to contend for truth and they come to a point where they begin to discern that something is wrong although these guys anointed and have the gift of the spirit we do not see the character that represents the posture of a matured man in the spirit then you begin to come up with all kinds of rules be quiet and don't challenge authority whatever we give you God will not talk to you people except he comes to us. Have you had teachings like that? That's lack of fire in progress, brothers. Because the Bible is very explicitly clear. Mm, this is what you get in Koinonia. We want us to be strong. Listen. I trust the Lord that the least person among us will be as strong as David. We won't lie to you. That's why we hold miracle services. Is that correct? And you come, we don't bug you with all these things. We just pray. But when it comes to building, watch me. There was a day, now I'm careful to say this, some years ago, The Lord told me that I should not open my Bible for one week. And I did not understand. Could that be the spirit of the Lord or not? But I eventually found out that it was God. 
and God gave me the reason he said son every meeting that happens you are going like many of you are here with your notebooks it takes something in your head to be the head you know how Bishop Oedeko writes powerful statements take something in your head to be the head now he's writing you are jotting he's speaking from a depth of revelation you just want Rema and he said boy if I preach on this in my Thursday fellowship they will know that I'm not an ordinary person now you are getting these things he's speaking from the bowels of the spirit but it came to you just as knowledge Rema are you listening to me and now you are writing it and God told me he said son you have gotten many things that can move you forward but you are not moving forward you are junking your head with knowledge close your bible and let's begin to bring you into the experience of these revelations that you had so i didn't say you see it's my unique dealing that's why i can't write a book about it are you listening to me and god began to open me up I remember that's when God began to teach me on character. Look, let me tell you, I was walking in the anointing of the Spirit in a way you cannot imagine. Praise God. And the Holy Spirit asked me, this is the experiential dealing now. I'm teaching you how the Holy Ghost trains you. He begins to subject you through personalized experience that only you can tell. The only thing is when you share the experience with another person, you will find out that although the the patterns of dealings are different according to what he wants you to become but you see that there is a similarity of objectives what he's trying to achieve praise God and the Holy Ghost made me to draw a diagram of the fruit of the spirit versus their manifestation in my life personalized dealings he is training me he's now giving life to the head knowledge I've had of scripture I knew it so well but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace. I knew this in right from Sunday school. But now there was, it was now time for the reality. And let me tell you something. For the first time in my life, my ego was turned to my knees. I was shocked to find out that less than 10% of the fruit of the spirit was alive and working. Although I was anointed. Although we were praying for people. Although we had gone for crusades, I said, ah, Lord, you have to help me. Thank God it's only me and you that is seeing this thing. Let's flog it out right now. Are you listening to me? Do not be embarrassed when God calls you to your knees as a general. It's not a symbol of shame. He's pruning you to lift you. So don't be embarrassed to find out that there is an issue you need to flog out in your life. Don't let religion lie to you and say it's all over walk out that soteria that salvation with fear reverence for god and with trembling because it has consequences if you leave it hallelujah and when i began to do that i saw improvement in my life and people were happy when i went for ministration they said we have a very humble servant of god and i could imagine the holy spirit saying now you did. are you not enjoying the blessings i thought that was over Later on again, he said, there's part two of that character dealing. And he gave me another dealing. And I found out I failed flawlessly. Although you people can see me and say, wow, great man of God. It's only me and God that knows the dealings and the levels. Are you listening to me? Many preachers will not tell you this. Because they stand as omniscient, omnipotent, and omni whatever. And let me tell you, if they don't take steps, they will be embarrassed. Because the realm of the spirit has no apology for what your members call you. You begin to contend for the experience. Listen. And in that contention, you begin to know the Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me? You begin to know the Holy Ghost. There are certain promptings of the spirit that come upon me to know the kinds of anointings that are in a place. I cannot teach you. I can only explain. It's my personalized dealing in the place of prayer there is a way and a manner that the holy ghost moves upon me that i know that i've hidden something in the spirit and i know that this prayer has been answered are you listening to me there is a way i can sense danger if somebody wants to call me maybe to pray for the sick sometimes few minutes before that time I suddenly sense the anointing of the spirit and I sense the presence of healing angels. How did I learn that? The experiential dealings of the spirit. This is how a believer grows. 
One day you are praying, suddenly your tongues begin to change. That's your first time of encountering it. And then you are saying, what is happening? Suddenly I found out that I cannot even talk again. I'm voicing, but I'm not speaking. These are questions. The Holy Ghost is luring you deeper with these experiences. People may reject it, but you know. Suddenly you, you are praying and you begin to sense the presence of people. You know that you are not alone in that room. And now your spirit is being trained. It's a customized dealing. This is not the type. There are many of you while I'm speaking right now. The first time I was speaking, you were caught up in the spirit. You didn't even know that it was a spiritual experience. Suddenly you found out that we're sharing the grace. And you just smiled. You went back home quietly. And then you ended that dealing. Instead of you to begin to contend with the spirit. Every time you prayed, you would lie down and see something that will happen exactly the next day. You trivialized it. But after seeing it two or three times, the Holy Ghost is saying, this is part of the tools you will need as my army. And so begin to take note of it. I sleep with notebooks. I sleep with my Bible, my notebooks, and my pen. Because at every time, you see, so you begin to walk with the Spirit. And you come to a point where you can look at someone and be able to help the person out of the abundance of your experiences. Are you listening to me? The atmosphere of your spirit is alive. Now your mind begins to submit gradually but surely to the lordship of the spirit. You begin to imbibe his word. His word now, the, the Holy Spirit begins to orchestrate occasions that will make the word be living and active in your life. So it's no longer just a logos here. It has become true. Are you listening to me? And then one time you will have cause. And your father or your mother will not send you money. And the Holy Ghost will say, I want to show you a dimension of me that is accessible. I want to train you and build you. And then he says, now depend on me. Get up and go to your friend's room. As you are stepping into your friend's room, you see him with an envelope of 5,000. He says, the Lord was leading me. And you say, so that dealing I thought was my mind was the Holy Ghost. You are growing. There is a progression. Are you listening to me? There is a progression. Suddenly you sit down and you sense, guys, something is wrong. And you just tell your colleague, let's pray. Let's pray. Five minutes later, they call. And they say, someone had a ghastly motor accident and he would have died. And God said, note that impression. I will make reference to it again. Your customized dealings with the spirit. This is how a Christian becomes a mature person. Because over time, you begin to gather these things and the Holy Ghost begins to shed light and he begins to teach you. So, prayer becomes exciting not because you want to go and do religion. You anticipate a new experience. And so you are praying and wondering what next will the Holy Ghost do? Suddenly you are praying on your own. The next thing you wake up and find out that you were on the floor. When you fell, you did not know. You thought you were too praying, but suddenly you found out that you had been in a vision for a long time. And you say, Lord, what, what is going on in my life? The dealings. Are you learning something, please? Then you begin to pray. Then you begin to build. There are times that you are sleeping and God gives you a dream and you get up and there is no direct application of that dream in your life. The dream was an explosion of your mind and your spirit to acclimatize with the dealings of God so that scripture will now begin to make sense based on the things you have visualized in your dreams. So you find yourself walking on water and in that dream, a lot of people say, Mami water, calm down. Don't just call everything Satan. You find yourself walking with Jesus on water in a dream. He is giving you the feeling so that when you come back and open that scripture, light that never entered you will now enter you. There are times in the dream you see yourself laying hands on the sick and you have the feeling of victory, the manifestation of faith. And every time God will preserve that memory in your mind so that the next time you see somebody in a wheelchair, you have that same feeling and it will, end, it will help the anointing to flow in your life. And suddenly for the first time, it will be like a dream. Are you following me tonight? The dealings of the spirit. Bringing the knowledge of God into the experience of God for you. 
then you begin to speak you are understanding the operations of the spirit now when you stand to preach listen you will not just talk as if you are talking your convictions are getting stronger listen when you experience god that's the only condition that you can die for him it's not by confession are you listening to me stand up sweetheart my dear look at me if i call you a man what will you do about it there are too many experiences in your life that have crystallized in your spirit soul and body that you are a lady is that correct for instance men don't wear with one except there's something wrong with them except there is a drastic shortage of the dealings of the spirit in their lives please sit down now this is a lady if you give birth to a baby listen do you know if you separate a baby from any other person and you keep telling that baby you are a boy you are a boy although she's a lady she will grow up knowing and thinking and acting like a man because the first experience she receives is on account of what you are speaking to her are you listening to me that's why God designed the trainings of ladies and men to be such that no man can deceive another. When the guy becomes a teenager, suddenly his voice is getting husky. Final betrayal. Nothing can deceive him that he's a lady. And then he sees mustache on his face. Uh, all these things begin to tell him, look, Mr. Man, you are not a lady. And then, what are they doing? There are memories in his mind. And then he comes to a point where he's convinced and he can die believing that he's a man. Such that when Americans are saying right now, uh, there are factors we need to look at to ascertain whether a man is a man or a woman. You say you are on your own. I know and I am persuaded that I'm a man. This is how it must be. But when you do not walk with the spirit, and this is the ministry of the fivefold, to bring us to a point where we create the roadmap. Listen, what we do is we plant and we water, but it's your dealings with God that brings increase in your life. Are you listening to me? Our job is to open up a portal and lead you and say go. And then you begin to experience certain dimensions of God. You have been reading every time. The Bible talks about tithing. And then you have been saying, wow. If they ask you in Sunday school, you answer discipleship, you answer CRS, you answer and you do very well. And then one day God begins to tell you, alright, you've been reading this thing, when will you put it to work? Experience. Knowledge translating into experience. Now you come out here and stand and you drop the tight. And listen to me, God will oftentimes cause the result to happen instantly so that you can see the difference. You are just dropping it and the next time, it may not happen like that all the time. This is what happens to new converts. Every prayer is answered. Before they pray to be answered. And they are like, man, this Christianity, that means most Christians are lazy. Then one day you pray and it's not answered that fast. And God will say, all right, uh, I was just helping you to be encouraged. So that should, in case you don't get an answered prayer, you know you once had one and you can follow me. Then he begins to teach you. you want to, have you seen many believers who say, I just got saved. I got filled with the Holy Spirit. I started praying for the sick immediately. And truly they were healed. Ask them after five years whether they continued. It was a motivation. God is smart. He knows how to encourage you. It was a bonus to encourage you. That look, you are seeing believers praying and fasting. You didn't pray, you didn't fast. Rema just came. And you say, if this is how it is, then I can be a preacher. And then one day you are starved of revelation. The Bible becomes a blank page from Genesis to Revelation. And then he begins to teach you the principle of receiving from the spirit. Then you begin to honor the people you have once criticized. And say, oh, I respect your fasting. You, know, you are not wasting your time. A body that becomes matured. Not just in knowledge, but in experience. That's why I like our mothers. They have gone through childbirth. They have escaped accidents. So whenever they are talking about the faithfulness of God, no matter whether they are not concerned whether I can place well or not, you just raise a song. 
even if it's oh come oh ye faithful they just close their eyes because it's a reflection of their experience they have come to know god when they were giving birth to the third child they almost died and they called on his name and he brought salvation so whenever they read and they say the lord is my strength and my light they have an experience that can relate to that knowledge and for them it's not waste hmm. are you listening to me a woman who has five children and four died in an accident and then see this is one of the reasons why when you hear a man who has experienced God when he speaks you will cry because he's speaking from the depth of his experience I remember listening to Reverend Dr. Umar Ukpai, lost his children after a crusade after a crusade his children drowned and died he had to start a new family again so when he reads the book of Job and Job said though he slay me he will say yes because there is an experience he has gotten that dimension of God and nobody will take it away have you gotten the experience for the revelations you are shouting about for that may be the missing link hallelujah thank you Jesus and you come to a point where you experience certain things don't waste your experiences let the Holy Ghost use them as a training ground to make you mature that's why the Bible says count it all joy when you face diverse temptations knowing that the trying of your faith will produce patience and let patience have its full cause there is an end it will make you become something when you come to koinonia there are different kinds of worshipers those who have experienced what the worship people are singing are you following me now that's why when who raised worship sam come if sam if sam comes to stand here and sing and say um lord i give you my heart if there is no experience to validate that revelation you will know because there is an absence of truth have your way in me lord even if he's kneeling down you just know that there is a separation between this man and the spirit of this song and experience has not brought it into light hallelujah but if you waited 10 years before getting admission and he said lord i love you and he says lord i give you my heart you cannot explain it may not even be his voice his experience is doing something to your spirit deep is calling on to deep have your way in me that's why he can compose other versions and not care about what you are thinking because those versions relate to his experience when he, that's why you see when whenever we say sing in the spirit or express yourself to the lord some people just stand it's not your fault You've never had to look for school fees by yourself. You've never had to trust God for his faithfulness. You've never had to. You are too innocent. There is no experience. So the Bible is just like a book and you just know the memory verses. But somebody who's, whose name came out in that list has an experience about the faithfulness of God. Somebody whose mother was almost dying of childbirth and they had to come together praying day and night knows that there are demons in the village and that prayer can conquer Satan. So while you are talking English on stage, that revelation, the memory of the times he had to spend to travel, that memory is too deep for your deceits to just take him out. That becomes the platform for a healthy prayer life. So right now, your prayer life is not founded upon intimidation from your colleagues. There is an experience that has provoked you to the place of prayer. And you know you must remain there as a matter of life and death. Hallelujah. And then the Bible. Have you ever had certain experiences and then some songs you used to listen to that don't make sense later make sense? And then you just feel like listening to Don when you have criticized. His keyboard suddenly makes sense to you. He never sleeps. And that, and you begin to cry. It's an experience that is making you grow. Because out of that experience, the word of God will now come alive. Are you getting blessed, please? 
so it's not enough to write god is telling you to write all those things in your notebook because the day the experiences of your life will bring you into the knowledge of that aspect of god you will appreciate what you have written that's why when you hear some people talking you see you see pastors standing up they are touched by the statement and the members are saying what nonsense is this the day you start running your own church after three years you stand up for every man that says what they said that you were just watching because four four weeks after you begin to pastor the four weeks is full of crisis that you have to settle and you say lord did you call me so next time you are seeing somebody say god is faithful and the man of god is relating it to his pain his pain has become a message that helps him to understand what the holy spirit can do in the in a man's life This is how believers become matured. And if this is not taught in the body of Christ, we are going to have a crippled people. Are you listening to me? So you get up based on these experiences. My wallet has been missing for a long time. If it was before, I called it forth, called it forth, it didn't come. I said, Lord, look, I have, I have better things to pray about. I have a, a family of believers we need to train. But remember one time i gave you story that an angel came and brought it i prayed i said where is that angel hallelujah the rigor of going to atm activities right now and all the things there but when your heart is with god anything that leaves you cannot it only creates more space for him to feel So you see a believer walk and you are wondering how do people live like this they just sat your father and he comes back dancing and you are like daddy are you joking my school fees he says don't worry i don't know what will happen but i remember in 1975 a similar thing happened and there was a song that i sang many of you don't have experiences that you can fetch this is why testimony is important when you give testimony you give people a tool that they can use to fight satan tomorrow then you become a matured christian hallelujah kenneth hagin went through all kinds of sicknesses that wanted to kill him so when he stands ministering to people god brings that memory and out of that memory comes compassion and from that compassion the anointing will flow you've not had any experience that's why you say this miracle service said why are people always falling the day you have their kind of disease you will value our ministry hallelujah why must you prophesy you are wasting our time jerry the day your father looks at you and says, now you have become an adult fend for yourself you will know whether you have believed god or not and then you you will begin to sing songs including jesus loves me this i know for the bible tells me so now it will not be special number an experience has compelled you to appreciate that revelation of the word to the point that whenever you read john 3 16 you can start crying on stage people are saying john 3 16 it's not about the verse it has made you to know the holy spirit in a certain way that you wouldn't know him this is how the ancient were dealt with by god certain experiences open certain dimensions of god and so they knew that god was certain things and they died believing it what do you believe about god how have your experiences helped you to come into the knowledge the experiential knowledge of god some of the dealings of god in our lives is what has given us audacity to be able to stand and declare certain things and you watch and say how old are these people that they speak with such audacity it's not about the age it's the depth of the experiences Am I ministering to someone tonight? We are going to pray. When that happens, listen to me. You come to a point where you do not trust any other thing again aside from God. At that point, he becomes king of kings and lord of lords. Then you will now appreciate my song. King of my life, you are my all. Don't sing it. 
and I live for you alone. I wrote that song on Valentine's Day. And I lay my life for you. Listen, my heart is yours. Is it making sense to you now? My mind is yours. My will is yours. You're the king of my life. So when the worship team raises, you say, ah, this song is not sweet. You, you enter an experience that will make that bitter water become sweet. And then every day you hear it, you say, ah, you may not know the song. You just say, my heart, and you keep saying my heart, and you are crying, and it's ministering to you, and you are shedding tears, and you are, you are shedding tears. When the victory comes, you take note of that song. Have you seen your, your parents noted certain songs? It doesn't make sense to you why they like it. They sang it the day you will be delivered. You almost died. Your father was almost dying of hypertension around the labor room. And that song ministered to him. And every time you sing it, he remembers you and the destiny of God in your life. Many of you look at my name and say, my name is not Abba. Why would they name me Joy? And then they will tell you the experience that led to that name. That they waited 10 years with no child and then you came and they rejoiced and then they called you joy. Say it doesn't matter. Then three years you didn't get admission. The day you get you say, my name is joy. The revelation has brought you to a position where you begin to appreciate certain things. Believers, we need to grow. This is where God is taking us. When that happens, the consummation of all things is that your body begins to experience that soteria. And then you can allow your body to be a channel through which the life and the power of God can flow to others. Your vocal cords become instruments through which you will communicate his life and power to others. At that point, you become useful. But can I tell you something? This is the journey. Stop looking for power and manifestation. What you should be searching for right now is God. Say, Lord, give me an experience. An experience beyond Christianity. An experience. An experience. Lord, I desire an experience with you. I've had knowledge. I've had so many things. So when you hear Michael Smith say, it's all about you, you'll be wondering and say, ah, all about him. But Lord, I've given you all and the Bible says I've been bought to the price. I pray that the Lord will lead you into the pathway that will cause his word to come alive in you. At that point, nobody will tell you to do evangelism again. It will not be guesswork. Listen, when God opens up the operations of the spirit in your life he brings you to a point where your mind and your intellect betrays you again and again and there is only one option left god and your love for him like a Kuman, you say lord i'm available and you mean it from the depths of your heart and when he begins to use you you will there's there will never be room for pride because the memories of the dealings will remain in your heart I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. Hallelujah.
please pass your prayer request to the last person by your side. Ushers coordinate them. Let's do it quickly. Hallelujah. Please pass it quickly. So we bow as we enter the throne room. Lord, we cast ourselves down at your feet. For you are holy, thou art holy, there is none like you. For in your presence, that is where I must be. Now. He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of honor. Alpha Omega for the things that you will do in this place I give you praise because you always hear me whenever I call him he will answer me Elijah called on him and he answered him the apostles called on him and he answered them this is why i know whenever i call on you you will answer me listen let me teach you something before i begin to minister you can never be more confident than your secret place will give you are you listening to me the secret place is the place of authentic power the confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge the Bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength he says but let him that glory at glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth me I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire. And this is why I'm saying this. Listen, this is not about jamboree. There is a real person called the Holy Ghost. He's not a myth. Listen, you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality. That he can find expression in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus saw tears and wheat 
and he gave us a verdict he said the enemy has done this can i announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs hallelujah praise the lord the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and then the sons of jacob after that deliverance will possess oh there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness hallelujah all the powers of darkness that have tormented you while i prayed the lord opened my eyes and i saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are listen the lord told me something he said for everyone i was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive and i i went to the lord about it and the lord said that all you need to do tonight that's what he was telling me he said if you speak it i will confirm it that's what god told me hallelujah when god told me i started writing a list of the issues i know in people's lives because i've been receiving text messages some of you sent me text messages angry about some situations and my god told me he said if you will speak it i will do it tonight i tell you the truth and i lie not believe the lord he will surprise you tonight please listen there are some of you i must say this when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby very complacent we'll just jump you is that agreed because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands as we worship you. See the rain of your love. Feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. Just lift your hands. I didn't ask you to feel the rain of your love see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear we see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit please lift your hands when i begin to sing let it rain there will be deliverances. Let us hear, so let it rain. Or shall spring them out. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. The power of the Holy Ghost. Moving across this building. Yeah. The power of God is already moving. But we are going to shout the name Jesus. Listen. Listen. Every time the Lord shows me this, I see angels. And I see the movement of the angelic right now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body. And those devils, there is no hiding place tonight. Are you listening to me? How many of you believe? There is no hiding place tonight. There is no hiding place. At the count of three, my God, you will confirm your word. Everyone under any yoke, any spell, any enchantment, at the count of three, let the power of God bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord Move at the count of three. 
Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, shake it, it, it. Oh, go, break it, 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 it. I cast out devils. Go, 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 let the fire of the Holy Ghost show protectate. Regate Satan get lost. Satan get lost. some of you you will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost no man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost is the fire of God it will happen to some people from outside outside the fire of God is falling and even inside but I want you to know as I begin to chant in the spirit there's no hiding place for any devil tonight so get take a parata Lord, let your power move. Every power, every force of darkness. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. I release the fire. Leave them, leave them, leave them, ushers. Leave them alone. You will come out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. Hallelujah. Now, there are some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know. This is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you, know, you will not be able to stand it. 
Say fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy put to an end the power of God is still falling I tell you devils are under major attack by Paul's attack the angels are walking don't wait till you fall down receive don't wait till you fall down has nothing to do with falling yeah was a sound that I had in the spirit that's why I'm singing it yeah. 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 yeah hallelujah bring her it's time for her deliverance I command you to come I command you to come don't force her she will come by the power of the Holy Ghost come come and stand here yeah. 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 listen a scripture entered my spirit he said how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 yeah. hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God 
my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts is the Acts of the Holy Ghost Sir King Salama Salama He's called the Prince of Peace Hey Salama yeah. Hallelujah Leave her alone Be still, stand in one place now Sir King Salama Your time in this body is over Your time in this body is over now in the mighty name of jesus out of her now come out of her out of her sir king salama out come out the fire of the holy ghost he maketh his angels spirits and his ministers flames leave her now She's free. Sharp Sir King Salama. 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 Salina Kabo Diabo. Sir King Salama. Salina Kabo Diabo. Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out! Come out! This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil, come out, come out. So pray, take a pariada baladala. Sir King Salama, Salama, Salama. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. 
But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shake her taba. Brento koprikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go pros ketaliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible, but if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama Come out! Out of her right now! Salama Salama yeah. Listen! Let me tell you what happens in meetings like this some of you because of this demon spirit the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away you you better stay and let god help you the devil is a liar tonight are you listening to me okay i didn't finish with this guy watch what will happen to this brother he's not looking at me oh. he's not looking at me just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarkin Salama 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sarkin Salama there's someone that has a problem a heart problem heart problem that was your request heart something in your heart i don't know what it is the lord is showing me please remember i told you don't waste our time please there's a lot of things we have to do this night heart something pertaining your heart if you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama, yeah. Salama. Salama, yeah. Hallelujah. Ah, ah. See, there is a lady. Now, don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say. You see snakes in your bathroom ladies bathroom who is that person come out come out this has been an issue you have not shared it with people snakes you are you see it who is the person please salama salama yeah you are not the only one no you are not the only one this is the problem god god is ready to deliver you look this is a family are you listening to me this is not this is an apostolic ministry so there is we are here we are a family when god is mentioning your case forget about what what issue of shame issue of shame is out of the way hallelujah what's wrong with your heart 
asthma. Is asthma really a heart? This one, I'm seeing a heart problem. But I'll pray for you. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Listen, I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing out of her now. Out. Come out of her now, devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands with both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand. It will leave you. Because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go. For light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go! Kapotoka! Reketaria! Mambroskote! Reketaria daba! Boseketalia! Out! Come out of her! Out of her right now. Sarkin Salama. Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe you want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama. Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of you. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now. Out of her. This lady has a great destiny. This is a snake. This is what I'm seeing. This is a whole snake. Mighty snake. The Lord is against you. Let her go now. That is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Lama, yeah. 
Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. De la moscunia na 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 mosha ni na 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 mos so de de na na marie de de na na salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama yeah salama. Watch the way this demon will leave. Come see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir King Salama. 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 Yeah. Listen. This is not jamboree. As I see my father do it. Don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we are just... No, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands. Many of you do not know. Listen. Please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. Marriage is a blessing. It's not a curse. As I, as I talk, as I talk, because you see, I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth. I want to break certain demonic things. Many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones. For some of you, it's a role in your family. Many people have told you nothing. Just, just hope one day. No, we don't do that nonsense in this place. Now, faith is Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Listen. The moment we shout the name Jesus, some of you listen. You will testify. Whatever is happening to you here, we locate all your loved ones around. Listen. The reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you. Your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go. The Lord instructed me to do this. Hallelujah. If you are here or your loved ones, there has been delay. Men come, they go. Or maybe you have a child and you are thinking you will not marry. That devil is a liar this night. Are you listening to me? So don't just stand for yourself alone. Don't say it does not concern me. Don't be foolish. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? You will see the demonstration of the power of the Spirit. Kai, because see, I'm seeing blood. I'm seeing blood dripping on the ground. Let me tell you what this means. There are covenants and ordinances. This is what the Lord is showing me. But my Bible says... The blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Better things. At the shout of the name Jesus, the demons responsible for any marital delay, God, you said if I speak it, you will do it. Right now, at the count of three, it will hit some of you in a mighty way, inside and outside. Lord, let nobody be spared. One, two, three. Break, 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 break. Ushers, bring them out. Ushers, bring them out. Break, 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 break. Hold, don't it. Break, 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 break. break. The yoke be broken. The yoke be broken. The yoke, I release you. I release you. I release you. I release you. Every cause of marriage over your family tonight, be free. Be free. Be free. Don't take us. 
Kata. Don't take Kata. Time to get married. Hey, Kappa, ba, 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 ba. Bring them out. Don't wait till you come out. The power of God is setting you free where you are. Yes. 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 Ordinances. I'm seeing altars on fire. Altars on fire. Altars on fire. Altars on fire. I set them. If I be a servant of God right now, I set every demonic altar on fire. It will burn tonight. Protocoto, reke protocoto pre, so pre to hopos, shake the pre kate, the pros kote, reke the pros, shake the, altars, altars, radical altars, be shut down, be shut down, be shut down, I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now, devil, let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say, I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say lord it comes i hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain cry unto god wave that sickness bye bye because it's going forever i'm not afraid I'm not afraid. 
of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? If you can. I'll just minister to you at once, please. If you came here believing God, then know that it will end. Hallelujah. There is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three go poto be free Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go, go. Go. Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimony. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, come back with a testimony. 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 I speak to you, all of you. Come back with a testimony. Come back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer, between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any course you did not fail, listen, See, believe oh, any course you did not fail, 
but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. Man to kapala kuzita. I change it. Kato pratishi. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in every in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because... I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that... Wait. I'm going to count three. When that happens to you... Listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first-class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it. 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 Inside. Inside. Take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside. Receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back. Inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people at the back outside here. At the back, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you. Because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen. Listen. I'm walking as God is. Just, just think of it in your mind. Just once. And bring it under the Lordship of Christ. Because I'm about to, op I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen, every department, every faculty in Amadubello University, that course that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow! Faculty of engineering, bow! Environmental design, bow! Education, bow! Social sciences, bow! Sciences, bow! All the faculties in Congo bow. Every other faculty bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction. And I command. Wherever your paper is. Where, except you didn't write that exam. Wherever your paper is. Just as the donkey of Kish was found, I command that paper to be found now. 
Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad. Listen. For this exam, for all those whose assessment have been bad, have been, uh, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hard they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time. I will excel. I will excel. Say excellence is, my portion. excellence is my portion. Say I refuse failure. I refuse failure. Say I refuse, I refuse failure. I take you from past. From third class. I take you into. Some of you are, are trusting. Let me tell you. Any class you need to step up. I step you up right now. Yeah. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I stepped you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers it has refused to come if god be god if there is a god in this place listen those of you who are about to whether jam whether de you have papers that you need to make up i stand as a servant of god i give you the paper you are looking for those writing jam i prophesy write your last jam in the name of jesus those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up and there are some of you who are about graduating but the papers you have are causing trouble and right now you already have problem at the senate mercy 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 you must graduate you must graduate let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorial for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you cannot read like a slave I forbid you from reading like a slave in the mighty name of Jesus I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick. You came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. 
everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on lay your hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless, you are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people they've told you you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen. All of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside. I tell you, many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting. And start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One. Two, three, receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, every woman problem, irregular menstruation ends now. 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 The fire of God is burning. I tell you, the fire of God is burning. Every lump in the breast disappears now. Disappears now. Disappears now. Every growth in any part of your body. Every growth. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus any pain in any area of your body i rebuke it any trace of mental disorder whether for you or for your loved ones wherever they are and if you are here let the power of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now shake it take up a reke teko to 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 baka ziko to riapata let them go let them go out 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 every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barring please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barring for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of hannah listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you lived a promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god 
I want to curse barrenness and impotency. Low sperm count. All this demonic infertility. Whatever. I, I don't care. If it has a name, it's going to answer this night. Are you ready? Everybody inside, make sure you are with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, my Father in the name that is above all names. Lift your hands. I pray. There are some of you, listen. Some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Zupokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barrenness, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the curse of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency, Whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. Sita kapala kosho prete. Zimbato krostu palakato sepete. Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? A, some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. 
And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. People are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Ah. Are you ready now? My father, I pray. It's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty. Go. 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 Keep the offering up. Go. 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 Shake it. For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a curse. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Shokete keta. Rekoto poko chupaka. So protokoto. Rekete kete. Rekoto prekete ka. Jobless. Go. 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 Hallelujah. To me, my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice I command doors of uncommon unusual inexplainable and sharp prosperity let it be open now for you and for your family that joblessness ends now God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place i don't know what i'm seeing i'm seeing it, the whole of this place the whole of this place lift your hands because god is about to visit you some of you it's not just financial issues god will join everything and visit you as soon as i shout receive it right from here down to this row this is what god is showing me the power of god will come in a strong way lift your hands all of you in the name of Jesus, at the count of two, 
Just two. The wind will blow. One, two. Let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is. But when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. Your spirit. Out. Out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokotopekata lekata. Dombretons kebanda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me. Visit them. Please help them. Help them. Ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam, God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm, I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Are, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Yes. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yes. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you. See. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families. In the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come, please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote, you wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13, 13, you wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come, you are the one, come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there is... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? 
There's no money. You went home, even transport to come back. Well, not somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locates this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina. You. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Pray for your mother. Huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo, God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing, as in, I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you seeing, look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen. They did it in such a way. And this is the invocation. That no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at. I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at. This is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. Are you listening to me? She, 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 I mean, beat you Scriptures and talk put you on the ground. About a blessed man, that happens to a man who delight is in the law of God. And so as someone that says, like that, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. All your classmates and in nursery school, he may beat all your classmates. You are happy about it. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose leaves do not wither when he bears legs, fruit in every season. Hands. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. 
hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time it's going to make you attain whatever stature that christ wants you to attain thank you i'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself this thing is more than 800 years this is what i'm telling you am i wasting your time Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? your time of what did you come here for you are barren is that yes sir you are barren yes. how many years 13 years i'm seeing one and three mm -hmm. how many years? 13 years 13 years you have been barren your 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 situation has come to an end <laughs> hallelujah mm. lay your hands on your stomach what did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly, come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Joining hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God, and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. 
I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant, Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devourers in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to... After this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come. If you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they're all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. 
rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed, growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it, all of us, please. Very quickly. These are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord visit this child. Let his hearing be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how wicked Satan can be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children are blessed. Where is he? Bring him. The boy ran away because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? he ran away. I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. Yeah. You will go back and you will come and testify. Yeah. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam God is really visiting your family. May the Lord. Uh, you came out for yourself. Or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of jesus let that door be open now i pray right now any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny i command those voices to be silenced right now Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? 
Look at me. Are you tired of it? Huh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing? And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they, are trying to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rehila. Who is Rehila? Do you know anybody called Rehila? What is, I mean, well, I'm hearing the name Rehila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going, hold, hold on, don't tell me. I, I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me, don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you, but the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you. Forward. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay, well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Yeah. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Yeah. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Yeah. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. Amen. I cast it out of your life forever. Amen. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you 
from entering the dimension God wants to take you. I release grace upon you to walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Amen. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Amen. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside, this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside, I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please, leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. They are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming, keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please you come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, the Holy Spirit lives in me. I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness. And I will reign in this life. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, that I'll never be the same again. My life is transformed in the name of Jesus. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes 
are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.